Hi, everyone. There's so many exciting things happening in Android right now. So Google has just unveiled its brand new Android XR smart glasses at the I.O. event. And let me tell you, this is a huge leap from the infamous Google Glass experiment from over a decade ago. This time, it looks like they might have finally gotten it right. In this video, I'll break down everything we know so far, from their jaw-dropping AI capabilities to the potential impact these glasses could have on the way we use technology. And make sure to stick around until the end because I'll be sharing my honest take. Are these glasses the future or just another flashy tech trend? So what exactly are these new glasses all about? Well, Google's been exploring smart glasses for over a decade, and now they finally delivered something that actually looks like regular eyewear, but is loaded with cutting edge technology. These Android XR glasses are built to be worn all day and seamlessly pair with your smartphone. They come equipped with cameras, microphones, speakers, and here's where it gets really interesting. Some models feature a discrete in-lens display that shows you information privately right in your line of sight. Surprisingly, they come in three different versions. A basic model with no display, a mid-range version with a single lens display called monocular, and a high-end model with displays in both lenses, the binocular version. Plus, they support prescription lenses, so you won't have to choose between clear vision and futuristic tech. But what really sets these glasses apart is their deep integration with Google's Gemini AI. It's like having a smart assistant that sees and hears everything you do in real time. Think of it as your own personal Jarvis from Iron Man, except it's built right into your glasses. Now, let's talk about what these glasses can actually do, because this is where things get really impressive. During Google's demo at the I.O. event, one of their team members, Nisha, gave a behind-the-scenes look at how the glasses perform in real-world situations. Even the basic features are surprisingly useful. You can view notifications, reply to messages, and snap photos, all without ever pulling your phone out of your pocket. But that's just scratching the surface. One feature that honestly blew my mind is called visual memory. In one demo, a person glanced at a bookshelf, turned away, and then asked Gemini what book was sitting on the shelf behind them. The glasses remembered and gave the correct answer, just like that. I also read another example where the glasses helped someone locate a lost hotel key card by recalling where it was last seen. And honestly, as someone who's constantly misplacing stuff, that feature alone might make these glasses worth it. Let's actually step it up a notch with something we call memory. Did you happen to catch the title of the white book that was on the shelf behind me? The white book is Atomic Habits by James Clear. <laughs> that is absolutely right. The real-time translation capabilities on these glasses are on another level. Not only can they instantly translate any text you're looking at, but they can also handle live conversations in different languages as they happen. In the demo, two people were speaking completely different languages, one in Hindi and the other in Fijian, and the glasses provided real-time subtitles for both speakers directly in the wearer's field of view. It's basically like having live subtitles for the real world, something straight out of a sci-fi movie. Nishtha and I are going to speak to each other in our mother tongues. Nishtha's going to speak Hindi, I'm going to speak Farsi, very poorly, and you'll see the feed from both of our glasses back here, and so you can all follow along, we'll show an English translation in real time. Okay? Let's give it a shot. Fingers crossed. حالا میتونی به همه آدم های دنیا صحبت بکنی و برای مامان و بابام ببخشین فارسی من خیلی بده <laughs> We said it's a risky demo the navigation features are also seriously impressive. Instead of constantly looking down at your phone while walking, these glasses can show turn-by-turn -turn directions right in your field of vision. With 3D maps layered over the real world, it feels like something straight out of a video game, but in real life. And here's a cool bonus. When you take a photo using the glasses, you get an instant preview right in front of your eyes. No more awkwardly pulling out your phone to check if someone blinked at the wrong moment. Everything's right there, hands-free.
Hey, Gemini, what have I missed in the besties group chat? Ni and Sarah are discussing meeting later today at Gio's Pizza to celebrate Kelsey's promotion and are wondering if you can make it. Are there any vegan options there? Yes. Reviews rave about the mushroom penny pasta. Great. Tell the group I'll be there. Oh, and can you send the pic of the blue just to let them know what I'll be wearing tonight? How's this? Awesome. Send it. Is there a store where I can get a card for Kelsey nearby? Serendipity Cards is a good choice. Let's go. Now, let's dive into the tech behind how all of this actually works. First off, these glasses aren't standalone devices. They're designed to connect with your Android phone, which handles most of the heavy processing. That's actually a smart move. It keeps the glasses themselves lightweight and helps extend battery life. Speaking of which, they're expected to last an entire day on a single charge. Though, of course, that depends on how intensely you use them. From a design standpoint, these look way better than Google's first attempt over a decade ago. Unlike the clunky, awkward-looking Google Glass, this new version looks much more like normal eyewear. Still with slightly thicker arms and rims to house the hardware, but far less noticeable. Another interesting detail? Google isn't doing this alone. They've partnered with Samsung to co-develop the Android XR platform, and they're collaborating with fashion-forward eyewear brands like Gentle Monster, Warby Parker, and even Caring Eyewear. And that's a clever move, because let's face it, if these don't look good, people simply won't wear them, no matter how advanced the tech is. But the real game changer here is the integration of Gemini AI. This isn't your average voice assistant. It can actually understand what you're looking at, interpret your surroundings, translate languages, read text, and even remember visual details from earlier in the day. That level of contextual awareness puts it far ahead of any other smart glasses currently on the market. When I first heard about these glasses, I'll admit I was skeptical. After all, the original Google Glass was a massive flop, and I already own a pair of Meta's Ray-Ban smart glasses, which are decent but lacking in true AI functionality. But after seeing what these new Android XR glasses are capable of and how far the tech has come, I'm genuinely excited about the future of augmented reality wearables. And honestly, the timing feels right this time around. A decade ago, AI just wasn't ready. But now, with powerful platforms like Gemini, energy-efficient processors, and high-resolution displays, smart glasses may finally be ready for mainstream use. One article I read made a great point. These glasses solve real-life problems. Need directions? You get a 3D map overlaid in front of you. Can't understand another language? The glasses translate in real time. Lost your hotel key? They remember where you last saw it. These are practical, useful features, not just gimmicks. That said, there are still a few unanswered questions. Google hasn't revealed the price or release date yet, and something tells me the high-end binocular model won't be cheap. There are also privacy concerns. How comfortable will people be knowing someone could be recording them? Google says there's an LED indicator when the camera's active, but will that be enough? And of course, there's the issue of battery life. All day use sounds great, but does that mean one hour of AI interaction, eight hours of passive wear? And what happens when the battery runs out? Are you just wearing a dead gadget on your face? Still, despite the unknowns, I'm optimistic. This feels like a moment where technology could actually change how we interact with the world around us. It's not just about having a mini screen in your field of view. It's about having a smart assistant that sees and hears everything you do and helps you navigate your life more intelligently. So there it is, Google's Android XR smart glasses. They're set to launch later this year and developers will soon be able to start building apps and experiences for the platform. Google's already testing prototypes internally, most likely with employees and selected partners. The future of wearable tech might just be right in front of our eyes, literally.